it is that time again, time for the most recent beta of macOS Mojave. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider, and we have Beta 8. This is the most recent developer update and brings with it mostly just performance improvements as we get closer to release. Like many of the other updates to macOS Mojave in this beta period, the update itself is still quite large. It actually weighs in at more than 3.5 gigs for our late 2016 MacBook Pro. After waiting a little bit for it to download that hefty update, and then another 30 or so minutes for it to actually do the install, we are back up and running. Going up to the Apple there and going to About This Mac, we can check out the build number, which is actually clocking in at only six builds different from the last beta about a week ago. As we get closer to release, these beta numbers are going to get closer and closer together as less and less changes are being made. This late in the game, it's not always about the visual changes that are being made between each beta, it's actually about the performance improvements that we're seeing and then comparing that overall performance back to High Sierra. Early betas are going to be quite prone to bugs, and their performance is not really going to be up to snuff. But as we're crossing the finish line, we really want to see how that performance has improved and how it compares to High Sierra. So we're going to run Geekbench test, and we're going to run it a few times, just so we can get kind of an average. There's going to be quite a degree of variance every time we run this test, so we really want to see what those numbers are focusing in around. After running the test quite a few times, we're seeing pretty similar results. The single core is around that 3695 and the multi core is around that 12904. If we compare those values to the publicly averaged 2016 MacBook Pro with a 2.7 gigahertz i7 processor, looks like our numbers are still a bit suppressed. The single core on the Geekbench averages are pulling around 4100 for the single core and about 137 when it comes to the multi core. Definitely hoping to see a few more optimizations as we get across that finish line of macOS Mojave. While performance isn't quite what we want it to be, macOS Mojave is still a great update so far and it's been really smooth in its actual performance. A few applications definitely need to be updated to take advantage of it such as Final Cut Pro and I'm sure Apple will issue those updates as soon as macOS Mojave is released. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.